Hey guys. Hi. What's Hi. good? Welcome to Meet and Greet, your podcast about movies, life, and everything in between. Woo-hoo. With your hosts, Naz, Ta- Zulu, Tamola, and our special guest of the day, Bisala. Hey. 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 Get as it be. Hey. 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 No, you should <laughs> see if I fail at being a writer, director, producer, I'm trying to be a host. You know, I'm a father of two. Take that's lessons. Two. Take lessons from Bisola. Oh Take lessons gosh. from Bisola. I mean, right. I mean, when, you're, when you're an actress, a big brother star, social media influencer, <laughs> producer, uh, broadcaster, radio person, host, singer, singer, <laughs> singer um, so um, mother. Um, what's going on? Please. So please. So because that, I'm looking for my fourth career, you have to say because she has ten, and I'm embarrassed. Now, just let you know that that's someone who's doing it better. Yeah. Take lessons, yeah, do I better. Remember everything. She has like sixty. I mean, please. I know they say everybody's hustle is hustle, but I'm saying please. When do you sleep? Learn from the best. Well, we do tribes. You can add entrepreneur. Oh, entrepreneur. So yeah. Yeah. 16. 16. Yeah. 16. So we, are, you see, we, say, we have to eat. <laughs> this life is noise. You cannot stick to one work. Mm. It will not work. True. It's true. You have to have multiple places, places where money can come from. So that's what we are doing. So do you find yourself one day thinking, to, okay, I put my influencer today and everything else you have to that day is comedy? Does that affect you in any way? Uh, no, not really. I don't think it doesn't really work like that. I think for the comedy, to be honest, I never see myself as a comedian. Hmm? Uh-huh. Never. Mm. Never. You guys. So you lies, lies. <laughs> Since you walked in, we've been lying. No, we've been I laughing. I promise. I promise. I promise. I don't, I, I don't, like, what comedians do, I don't think I can do it. Okay, wait. So you are not like a stand-up comedian. Maybe not stand-up comedian. But is that how, yes. is that how you define comedy? Comedian. Well, 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 well. To an extent, yes, I mean comedy. Yeah, it's comedy type. Sugar, sugar rush. We've seen Sugar Rush. We have not seen it's Sugar not Rush. Just sugar. We've seen her. No, I know, but I mean, like, what comes, no, but what comes to watch? Yeah, if you have only seen one thing, you have mm. seen Sugar Rush. Yes. I mean, so. You have even seen that one cameo scene in um, Chief Daddy. Oh, yes. I woke mean, up from sleep. I mean, yes. I mean, if, I, if you have seen nothing else, I mean. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're a comedian. But <laughs> carry on. No, but you know how there's some people that are just like comedic in the sense that they yes. come into a place and everybody starts to laugh? Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That they pay you to make people laugh. Yeah, they haven't gotten that. She hasn't gotten to that okay, point. Okay, well, maybe, 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 okay, like you said, maybe start, for stand up, I don't think I mm. would thrive there. That's, yeah, that's a good So, why, why do you think that? Because. Nobody has paid you yet to stand up. No, I, I, I don't. I feel like for me, doing that would be a lot of pressure for me. And I don't, I don't work very well under pressure. Hmm. It's not like I don't get the job done, but hmm. you're not going to get the best of me. If I'm working but we've seen you under pressure, and you really you where your, where you know one show like that people have to watch for ninety days, <laughs> and then you are just <laughs> there in the middle of the house, you know, with people, oh your interactions. God. Okay, so with that, with that, with that, and you are constantly under pressure. Not really. Really? Because you forget the cameras are there. Uh-huh. You forget they are, they're there. Sometimes the cameras will remind you because you just hear that robotic sound. You know, ah, this was the assuming in the army, but you know, <laughs> but you kind of just forget. It's like a world, and you're just living. Mm. You're just living. So, yeah, with that one. What was the first thing you did when you came out of the house? Okay, first thing I did. First thing I did. We're trying to catch up. We're backstage. I think I wanted to talk to my sister. I asked for my phone, and they said no. I wasn't going to be to, going to be able to get it until maybe 24 hours later after I've seen a psychologist. Oh, and well, that, yeah, very, very yeah. Important so they said no. You're not going to get your phones yet until that happened. Mm. And we just, I was just happy. You know that like free. It was like literally leaving prison. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody asks, yeah, like I think I know what <laughs> ex comes feel like. <laughs> hey, we're out there now. I mean, lockdown should all over. <laughs> lockdown, no way. Yeah, that's no, like good. No, we locked down. You did cook with you. Guys, please, you this is speaking. You guys are speaking from privilege. Please, you are in prison. Get you right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course. No, no, no. We're looking at it. We're looking at it. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. No, no, but I'm implying that prison is easy. Yes. What? It's not easy. Please. We're just saying. That's why they'll be lying and saying you're the funny one. So you're the strict one. First things first. What is? What did you talk to your sister? Yes, I wanted to talk to my sister. There was no food you wanted to eat in particular. Something like that. I was too excited to eat. It's just a matter. I think it was the next day. Because I think it was the next day. That's why I remember. I think it was the next day that I realized that. Oh my, we've not eaten anything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
bags packed, makeup done, can a book I do quick and let us in this place. <laughs> and then getting out with all the celebration. Like we were just really hyper happy at like so we didn't I did, I personally didn't remember to eat until maybe maybe four or five four or five AM because we really couldn't sleep. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they were knocking on our doors. Oh, that, do you need anything? Order. Oh, like, hey, okay, we can order. Hey. What was your first meal? What was my first meal? I honestly can't remember. That's really what a question you ask people that come out of prison. <laughs> you know what I mean? What was your first <laughs> meal? Huh? Was my... I had one funny breakfast like that. Mm. It's one kind of beans like this. That, that beans was not really <laughs> sweet. It's all like... Wait, wait, mm. it was like regular, like, tush beans or it was going... No, 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 or... it was, it was, because, because it was in Niger. Um, it was not just the beans. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. We were still, so the beans, it was funny. It just didn't taste. It was like, maybe we, should, maybe we do, they go have... Mm. And we had to leave for Nigeria that day. Well, myself and Ife, the winner, yeah. we had to leave for Nigeria that day. Mm. The rest left the next day, so we didn't have time. Okay, do quick, sharp, 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 okay, it's small. Mm. Went to see the psychologist, did some interviews, finally got my phone, and it was... Like, as you charge them, die. Charge them, <laughs> die. Charge them, die. Like, it was literally dying while he was plugged in. Messages. Messages. It was ridiculous. I was like, I, I, I didn't know how big the show was. Mm. I didn't know how big the show was until I got out. And then when we now landed Lagos, I literally had my head in someone's armpits. <laughs> And my legs are dangling. So, well, please, depends, no, depends on the deodorant, please. Please, I'm just asking. First question. Deodorant? No, my nose was no longer mine. Like, if there was COVID at that point, then I'd have known that I'd yeah, yeah, COVID. I've got it. I've got it. But it was horrible. But it was beautiful at the same mm-hmm. time. Because there were so many people dragging you. I couldn't even see my sister that came to the airport. My sister, my auntie, they came to the airport. I couldn't see them. They were like, no, you can't meet anybody. They had to lock us up in one lounge. Before finally, and then we took Ninja Sensei. Some guys came like, hey, we are from Moses. Who are you? <laughs> we don't know you. You are not the faces we knew before we left Niger. So no, we are from Moses. We are here to take it. Never we had to say making calls until someone now called and confirmed that yes, we can go with them. <laughs> before they kidnap you. Honestly. <laughs> and, and in today's news, a big brother uh, was kidnapped on her way back. One, 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 three big brothers that <laughs> kidnapped on their way back. You know, so it was it was it was so beautiful. I think I didn't get to see my mom and my daughter until two days after. Oh wow. Because it was back to back media rounds, just going the press conference, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was well, the so, breaking news like, hasn't stopped. It I hasn't mean, it's stopped. Not it, it's not intense, as intense, but it hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. I think it's it done stopped. so much. That's 2017. Yes. <laughs> 2017. Okay. Honestly. Then right on after the 9th of April, we'll make it exactly four years that oh, I left nice. the Big Brother house. Nice. Okay. So should we just uh, so should we just air this episode on the 9th of April just to mark our okay, anniversary? <laughs> Okay. That's a Friday, right? Uh, is it? Yeah. Sixth is a Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Friday. Yeah. We can make an exception for you and just drop the episode on Friday. Hey. Just to mark four years anniversary. Hey. Hey. Oh, shit. I love you, brother. Anniversary presents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is why you give people things that cost you nothing. No, it's easy. You know? You're so thoughtful. You're yeah. so thoughtful. You should have done it. So I'm like, sweet. No, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> it was nothing. Really, it's all right. Well, it was something well thought out. <laughs> anyway, may I have a question? So for me, because I get this question a lot, so I'm going to throw it back to you because mm-hmm. I need the answer to be given. As you asked me, I'll be giving it to you. Um, so I get, how do I become an actor? From a lot of people. <sighs> Well, I think many people these days don't mm. want to, they, they, they don't want to put in the work. Mm. Um, some say they want to be actors because they just want the fame. Which mm. is... Well... I don't know that. I mean, it's better than uh, God told me now. Okay, I want to be an actor. Can you act? <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Because I know a lot of friends that will tell me, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a stand-up comedian. And then when they are cracking, they're just how I am. <laughs> Straight face. Wow. I'm you like, pretend. No, I don't pretend. I'm like, oh no, that one was not funny. Like mm-hmm. I was just trying to say, ah, no, that one was not funny. You need to go and work on it. And then you know, and then because because it's not effortless for some people, they're born actors. For some people, they learn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I told them, ah, have you done any? Do you have any experience? Did you act in school? Do any stage in church? No. Are you? Is that what you're studying in school? No. Are you willing to go to school for it? No. But they, they told me in my house. <laughs> no, legit. They tell me in my house that I can't act, that I'm funny, that I'm like you. That you should not be trying to. Imagine all those people that end up on big on uh, American idols that can't sing or something. Like, and they told that uh, they say I, they said I act like you. I have your personality. I, I'm like, okay, okay. So and that's the funny thing, right? Today, 
it's easy to prove in the sense that like if you have that personality go on instagram thank and make you it, or go on tiktok these days which is the yeah. new version no, of but you see, but you, okay. i'm really asking you is how can i be in your film no i'm aware but you see that's um, that's my my answer so okay. how am i in your film is a track record based answer so what have i done, have you done? that will make you want to hire me is the way that you should see it hey but you see when people come from big brother there's beef other yeah. actors are like, hey, is that person an actor? Mm. Well, so, well, no, but, but you see, so all so these people, people are inside your film. No, but you see, what, 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 what I, 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 maybe because I'm looking at it from the perspective of being a former housemate. Yeah. But what, you were what, an actor before you went. Well, I was an actor house. before that. But for mm. these producers that use a lot of Big Brother, first off, it's a business. Yeah. And I don't, don't know why. Lot, I don't what, know. Yeah. It's a, I, I don't know why a lot of people take it personal. Like I legit see my colleagues attacking people that are coming from Big Brother yes. house. Is, and I'm like, what and if it was their dream? That do it as well. I would use T-Boss as an example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the house, T-Boss always said she wanted to act, yeah. but it's something that she was always scared of. So whenever we had tasks, I would say, you know what, let T-Boss do this. Because yeah, I'm already an actor. You have been in the business for some years. Mm-hmm. But you know, T-Boss do this. And after, after the house, she's been acting mm-hmm. and she's not doing badly. Mm-hmm. But I guess maybe a lot of people just have this Believe that, and once you go and believe that you you're already big enough. What I come to do in the acting business, kineko kineko, it's a business. So I guess I, the I, argument they need the numbers. I look at it differently, though. Actor versus star, mm-hmm. right? So that's the whole thing, and I, and I think the short. So the argument is, anybody can be an actor. It takes very few people to become a star, and if you are chasing stardom. If you see somebody hop in front of you in the queue to get the roles, because technically it's, it's the opportunities in the roles that allow you to transform from actor to star. True. So because those roles are finite, there's this belief that the broader the competition, mm-hmm. the less chance I have of making that transition from actor to star. Yes, yeah, so it's a sure. personal see, problem. I have a mat- personal it's, problem. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I have a different, slightly different view, but it's kind of mathematical. Okay. okay. So. <clears throat> Mathematics. <laughs> so, regular actor, you are in a movie, your movie is what, 120 minutes, two hours. Mm-hmm. Stack up someone who's done 30 movies, right? That's mm-hmm. 60 hours of yeah. work, right? Yeah. You are in the house for 90 days. 24 hours. 24 hours a day times 90 days. Someone do the maths for me. Oh, so this is like a 10,000 hours mark so of yes, Gladwell so the type has of done thing. 10,000 hours of entertaining people. And I'm tuning in, no scripts. Mm. basically coming up with stuff on the fly. I have to be interested when I'm asleep, when I'm awake, when I'm <laughs> eating. Mm. Then you now tell me that that person, there's no justification for that person no, to transition no, from so that's that the, No, but that's the star film. argument now. So the point is that like, so that's, the, that's actually the point, that yeah. the people in the house become stars. Yes. Right? Yeah. And a star is not the same thing as an actor. actor. They're actually actor, yeah. separate things. Yes. It helps when the actor is a star, star. Mm-hmm. like but, uh, yeah. Michael B. Yeah, so Jordan like, or Chadwick. But yeah, there are two separate things. But she gave an example of T-Boss saying, "I want to be an actor." Yes, yeah. never so it's a desire, it's yes. a dream. Yeah. So it's not like and now you have your yeah. stars want, want, to, want to, be to become actors. actors. I mean, look so at Kevin that is lifting weights, <laughs> <laughs> like you. <laughs> yes, but just but his own weight is bigger than mine. The thing <laughs> is, it's still a business. Yes, mm-hmm. the filmmakers have seen that this individual has got numbers. Yes, and has some sort of if and if you if you look at it, not not all filmmakers that have used. Big Brother um, ex housemates that are non actors gave them lead roles. Yep. Mm. Yeah. It's sometimes a cameo appearance. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had done some Please, features like this one time. She did cameo in Chief Daddy, and then she now did lead role in Sugar No, Rose, but I'm just I'm saying. Trying. No, but there's nothing. And, and sorry. <laughs> I was just bunching the point that, like, the role is the point in the sense mm. that that cameo. People till tomorrow, if they've seen yeah. that film, they remember, yeah, remember, they remember that, that one scene. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then, <laughs> <laughs> Stop out. But, but no, aside it being stopped, I had already committed, to, told my, committed to myself that, Mr. La, if you are to play a deaf mute, blind deaf mute, Mm. On anything, I will be the best blind deaf mute in the world, like the world has ever seen. Mm. It's it's what I have told myself. Let me start writing scripts. Like because it, 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 I find that it's a lot good. of my colleagues will ah no that that role is beneath me. Like ah do you know how much I've worked? Like, you can't give me a cameo. You can't give me five scenes. It, it's lead or nothing. In my mind, it don't work like that too, mm-hmm. because 
Samuel Jackson, you carry <laughs> gun in coming to America, ending beat, <laughs> and look at him today. Exactly. You know, he so died in his movies. He was stand up uh, for Samuel Jackson to just die in any movie he shows up in. So I, 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 for the people that I don't know, they just don't see it from the business perspective. Like it's just for the numbers. We need this person to bring in their fan Thank base you. You could to come and watch. Because as a producer, <laughs> <laughs> no, but even before I became a producer. Mm -hmm. I've always, I, I like it whenever any project I'm on is a success at the box office and everywhere. It's, it's, it's good for me yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It helps yeah. everyone. So mm -hmm. I don't know why people, they, they, they're just too sentimental about certain mm -hmm. things. And mm -hmm. don't take it personal. Don't hate the game. Don't hate this person's mm -hmm. hustle. I was criticized. For anybody mm -hmm. that asked yeah, I, I was criticized for going mm -hmm. into Big Brother. Oh, oh, Mister, like you're already an actor. What are you going to do there? Eh, what, uh, you, why are you wasting your time? Eh, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be good for you? you know, it's going to bring your career down. It's going to. And I went inside, mm -hmm. and I came it out. Did it bring your career down? It didn't. It escalated it, and I'm like, yo. So that's your answer, yo. Mm, that's how in 2018, someone won Trailblazer Award at NBC. <laughs> Where's the car? I brought it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they never gave me. Ah, no, they gave me. I, I got the car like uh, about three weeks to a month later. I traveled, yeah, a month later because mm -hmm. I wasn't around. I got the car and it's waxing strong. Oh, my oh, oh, baby girls, they're looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Clearly, clearly, it worked out. It really? did, it did, but the thing is, it's not from Big Brother. Yeah. I had been on this journey. Okay, I was on a reality show in 2008, a singing one. Mm -hmm. um, Project Fame. Yeah, and yeah, I made I it to that. top yes. five. Yes. yes, I remember that. So I started I acting in 2010. Like I was no. 15 okay, jobs. So here, 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 established. No, here's here's the thing for me because I didn't go to university. It was a case of survival mm. for me. I had to use what I had to get what I want to feed to survive first off mm -hmm. to survive in this world. Mm -hmm. So and my mom had always been very supportive of everything her children did. My my, my younger sister is only one of three siblings that went to university. Mm. And for me, knowing that I didn't have before I even went for project film, I used to do a bit of backup singing in Baja in Suruleri mm. for some artists that I can't even remember their names. Was it OJ yeah. Studio? OJ Studio. 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 Yes, Studio. <laughs> Studio, you know. So the the journey is I've been I've been on this yeah, God rest his soul. soul. That's true. I've been on this journey for a while, and when I came out of um, Project Fame. Certain, certain, certain um, experiences would help you learn in this life, as we all know. Yep. I was very entitled. I felt like, what, everyone has seen me on Project Fave, record labels, where you at, where you at? Nothing was happening. Nothing came. Mm. And I had my daughter in 2009. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking, picking, picking, looking me. I'm looking, picking, picking, looking me. No way to feed, no way to do anything. I had to go back to, like, I learned the hard way. Like, mm. look, you, nobody owes you jack. Don't mm. feel because we're privileged enough to be on some reality show that, yeah, we'll start doling out cash for you. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back. And my first acting gig was actually a Yoruba series from one of the camera guys on, that worked um, on Project oh, Fame. Yes. 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 So how was that? Like, when you got that call, what happened? I was so happy, but it was one of all those projects that, not no money. <laughs> Mom, 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 were you that interested was, in acting before I, that, or it was just? It was music for me. It was music. So it was it. actually Mommy J Auntie Jackie Silver mm. oh, okay. mm. that she was because she was the principal of Project Fame, mm. and she she had from some tasks that were given to us, she had said, "Oh, there be something like that. Have I ever considered acting? Mm -hmm. That I have, I have. I was looking at her like oh, I want to sing. Mm -hmm. It's music or nothing mm -hmm. for me." And then after the show, I had a lot of people that worked behind the cameras saying, oh, man, you were so great. You should consider acting. You should consider acting. And I'm looking at this people like, you guys are weird. Like, why are you telling me to consider? <laughs> Although, growing up, myself, my cousins, my siblings, we always had plays for our parents, yeah. for our moms. Mm -hmm. um, there was one person I can never forget, Mama Emeka. But my, I, I played by my Emeka. My older, my older brother was Emeka. The story had That's nothing. That's not weird at all. The story had nothing to do with Mama Emeka. It was all about Emeka. But I don't know why we named it Mama Emeka. And one song, the soundtrack, I can never forget. No, the soundtrack. Sing it, please. So myself and my other cousins were going, Mama Emeka, Mama Emeka. And then my brother was narrating. Emeka was a boy. Mama Emeka, Mama Emeka. Very troublesome. Mama Emeka, Mama Emeka. Never listen to his mom. Mama Emeka. And 
our, my aunties, my mom, they would legit sit down and they're looking at us like, wow, like I'm flooding us. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, so they were really, we they encouraged I'm that. Not half joking, but that's a sitcom. That is actually a sitcom. That is literally everybody hates Chris kind of thing. Yeah. Basically, like parents, it's a coming of age sitcom. I mean, I don't know where you find you know? child actors, but I mean, yeah. I'm like growing up hustle in the hood. You people had a had a great idea when you were how old? Uh, I think I was five, six at Shit. the time. Oh, wow. We have, let us quit. Let us, I mean, <laughs> you see, it pop. So it's a two-edged sword, right? Because it's one of those things where it's probably like that. They'll be like, oh, my mother used to clap for me. Whenever I used to do stage play for her, which is why that person does it. I believe I can act and I now want to be on your set. So please, Bisola, put me in your film. <laughs> you know? But I was saying that thing exactly, but that is actually true, but it's not enough. So yes. it's a, a starting condition say, is yes. you have the base level thing. Home, yeah. The next level is what did you do about yeah, it? it? Yes. So Where did you go with it? Because yeah. look at what she said in passing. Like you could feel the hurt five years later. The money was very small. Like literally, like it's not a oh the money was small. Like a ha. It's like wow that yeah. decision to take that money yeah. clearly was like yes yeah. yes, you, yes. You, want, you just need that one thing to get you off the ground. Yes. So you did the first one. Yes. So how many Yoruba movies did you do after that? Um, <laughs> uh, I think three. Because wow. the thing is, I'm, I'm not very fluent in Yoruba and it was kind of difficult because the script the, the first one the script was in Yoruba so I'm like I think I had F9 in Yoruba <laughs> you guys please don't do this to me um so, so they had to get someone when, when to read it and then translate it to me and then sometimes I'm, I'm acting and the director says no in Yoruba you don't say you know how Yoruba is now Ogun Ogun like I'm like okay but it was so much fun and what the director now did was you know what Bisola Maybe for you, we can infuse a bit of Yoruba and English. And English yeah. I, was I was supposed to be one chief's daughter. <laughs> oh my gosh, when I looked at... I think you should have had chief's, chief's daughter. daughter. <laughs> like she's going back into character <laughs> four years ago. But No, not four years ago. It was, no, it was 2010. 2010. Oh, 11 20 years 20 10, ago. Wow, yes. we are old. You know how like when, four years ago is 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I looked at the photos of myself as a chief's daughter, <laughs> 10 years ago, really nobody would ever believe that this guy ever made anyone believe this mm. but that was what got the ball rolling yeah. for me and then i got so many other roles as extra don't speak in character we're not getting him man one <laughs> man <laughs> one no, so yes, yeah so <laughs> funny enough that's the thing that like i'm guilty to like it's a script that we're working on now and i was like okay we're, this script is going after we have to change the names that there's nothing that's more depressing to an actor that <laughs> see man, man one, one got one two got <laughs> like okay just like they didn't even <laughs> care <laughs> to <laughs> give you a <laughs> name <laughs> <laughs> you please. know, yes. and we did Man this. So, so please, all writers, take this tip. Always name all characters. Name. Even if the person doesn't do anything, yep. give him a name. A name so please. the actor can embody. The names help us yes. to be better people. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a few Waka Pass roles. And I think it wasn't until, um, it wasn't until 20, I think the end of 2013, 2014, um, Amoth came yeah. up yeah. Mm -hmm. and that was how it was actually even some people that worked on Project Fame mm -hmm. that I had been like please help my life help my so life Amoth yeah. is African magic original films original films, films yes, yes. You know, everybody's down with the lingo yeah oh, okay sorry <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, it was I'm, I'm off That's came. A, somebody's on, on online right now Google. What is Amor? Let's cast let us hope that there's no dirty connotation to Amor because that would just be really bad oh, and send God. people down the mm, African yeah. Magic original films. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. That's it. So um um, I went for an audition. I think it was the audition for one of these, the uh, 260 episode. Was oh, it like was Tensel? No, it won't be Tensel. It would no, be like a hush. Although I had or done. Battleground or something. What year no, it was wasn't it hush. It wasn't Battleground. Hotel oh. Majestic? What year was this? Oh, I remember the Jacob's Ladder. Because if it's 2013, no, it 2014, Hotel Majestic I was. I did the... go for Hotel Majestic, but this particular one wasn't for Hotel Majestic. It wasn't for Hotel Majestic. So, in fact, did, did, it come? did they release it? I think they did. They did. You see, for Hotel Majestic, eh? <laughs> I, they called me. I auditioned. I auditioned. Audition one, audition two. Like seven times. They kept calling me back. So I was kind of sure, like, so long. And it was for one of the lead, the lead oh. roles. Thank God, finally, the doors have been open. Mado. And I get a call from them, like, Ash, come on, set. But it was kind of strange. I was like, ah, this Ash, come on, set. 
We need discuss contract. We want to discuss money in it. It's just come on, say, Mr. Ladios, I packed a bag. I didn't have a car then. <laughs> I packed my bag, like small, but so in case anything. And they were filming far inside, the inside. I'm filming for extra. It bad job. Just wait, wait, just wait. So like, inside, inside. The end of this story is so just and for what I had now done, I had I done, I had done like three African magic original films. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were sub lead, lead, lead. Okay. So I'm like, ah, I'm a regular face now, they know me. I carry my bag, I go to a Yana Parajar, I got there, and I, when I got there, I was like, ah, yes, they called me. So one of the bosses is there, so I'm like, what are you doing here? Ah, I said, wow. I got a call that I should come, but you know, we hadn't discussed, and I was reading for, I, I've been reading for this character. The man looked at me like, okay, and he walked away. <laughs> and then this lady walks up to me and says, oh, Bisola, you're going to play so and so and so person's secretary. Hmm. I said, okay, so how long is it going to be? How often do I have to do I have to be on set? Said, no, it's a one off. Oh wow. Speaking of I cried. <laughs> no, I mean I cried at the and I think the only thing I said was that he's not in the office. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I said. That was all I said. And I think maybe it probably aired in episode one or episode two. But you know you did it. And I cried. Uh, I cried so she did hard. It. No, mm. no, that's something. No, I did it. I did it. Something. That's why I can never be an actor. That thing. Mm. It broke me. Like I was, that's I was so sad. Mm. I did it too. Mm. And um, I think when 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 I got so one of my other directors from the African, because I complained to them. I said, like, like I said, why would you guys take me on such a ride? Mm. You made me audition for this role, so I keep like I will call taxi for money that I'm I'm saving. You do taxi because you don't. I, what I found out was back in the day when, when before Amoth, mm -hmm. um, when I used to live in Songwater and I had auditions in Ikeja mm -hmm. or in VI, my makeup game was crap. I don't think I even had foundation. I think I just had one small powder palette, like <laughs> an eyebrow and gloss. Mm -hmm. When you when you go there, you don't you don't look. Yeah, the part pro. like like now maybe now because of the years I've spent watching and seeing how the business has grown and all of it, I then I used to hate the producers. I used to hate the directors. Like yeah, they always want to find girls. They always want to find people, but you don't even look presentable. Mm. It's like going for an interview and you look like crap. Your appearance is everything. Acting tips, guys. Take notes. It's everything. So I would I would go all the way from Songwater. I didn't have nice. Per I had Roland though and deodorant. Yeah, <laughs> we so there was no yeah, the basic, but yeah. there, there was no perfume for you to smell. So you're smelling like a diesel tank because oh, all the molars have blown fumes mm. on you. You're sweaty. Your your so-called eyebrow that your cheap 15 naira eyeliner that you are using is already half as cleaned off. Your hair is a mess. You didn't. I didn't have nice wigs then. You know, you you, you don't look good, even though you have the talent. You just don't look, and then you, 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 you get to the audition grounds, and then you wait for maybe three, four hours. And when you go, you've already lost money, probably not eating since morning. Mm. Yeah, you are managing your last card to take you back home. You have laughed with everybody that has a vehicle. Which are you going? <laughs> Which are you going? <laughs> You're going to get out. I'll, 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 I'll catch you along. <laughs> you know, because they're trying to hitch a ride yeah. to save you some money. Mm -hmm. And when you get in front of these guys, you don't, you just, they're just looking at you like, who is this? Mm. So, okay, thank you very much. So here's a question. Like, I mean, how do you make it? So listen to that, right? Mm -hmm. How does the producer make it easier on the other side? Because what that does, listening to that story, is like it creates this thing of you have to be privileged to have a chance. That's literally what that tells me. Yeah. So well, I don't know that's what she's saying. No, no, that's not what she's saying. But that's, so look at it this way. Like, if I were, so let us say, so talent matters, obviously. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you're sitting here today with these three RAS people. <laughs> but producers right? do need to do better. Yeah. Right? So, like, how, so how do you. For too long and all of that. Thank yeah. you. That's so one. How, but how do you create that thing? Because that's the thing that actually, so when you look at, what what is the ta what is the table stakes or what is the level of opportunity or great or whatever that you have to have to be able to succeed? It's like are you are we missing out on a mass of talent just because it is very hard to get that first foot in the door? I so, think so. First off, so do you provide makeup for the people that no want no, no I don't so think I don't, the parts? I don't think I don't think you should provide makeup. So I think for the upcoming actors, this is a tip from experience. Um. Pack a bag with maybe wipes, your little makeup that you have, the outfit that you want the um, your your 
director, the crew to see you in mm -hmm. for the audition. It's important you always look fresh. You, you, you are calm mm -hmm. so that you can deliver properly. The, it, because, man, we've been through a lot. I made a lot of friends in the industry from auditions, mm -hmm. not necessarily from working together mm -hmm. with them. You know, and you're always mm -hmm. trying to hitch a ride, always trying. You, you get to just meet a lot of people at auditions and then you guys mm -hmm. bond over mm -hmm. hitting <laughs> from the <laughs> Uh, see so, your life outside. So I think say, oh, one of the things that I think help. that we should actually do out and mm -hmm. is that we should actually start doing vid so yeah, video, so video auditions to, for the first level of cutting. Mm. We shouldn't call people in mm. to do the first level, especially because I think that producers don't like to do that because they don't want, they don't like the job of sitting through that. Mm. But this is why casting directors are also important. Mm -hmm. So if you have a casting director to do that first level screen, you don't. I mean that's valid though, but you know that a lot of people don't tape properly. But they have to well. learn. They tape well. No, no, but, but you see, that's also that's also a way to lose people. No, yes. no, I no, disagree. But, it's a, it's a skill because you, because if you're in the room, right, you can ask the person, oh, can you take okay. that again? Can I see you do this? Can you? you yeah. can no, give but, some no, but wait now. So let me give you an example. Yeah. There's a tape that I watched. Uh, what's her name? Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, right? She mm -hmm. was talking about when she used to go on auditions, right? Mm -hmm. The first level screening abroad is a tape. Yeah. They yes, all learn how to do it on tape. If you Google it, yes, you can you learn how, how to, to do, do it. it. It's yeah. true. However, mm -hmm. however, invest in your casting however, director. However. It's true. It's not fair. If you stop to think about it. Yeah, because so we, 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 we've been through a lot. So let me ask you a question now. So now that the shoe is on the other foot, because you've now produced, mm. uh, what's that movie? ITK. ITK. Yeah. Yes. yes. So now, What's it like being a producer? Then you have to now call people in for casting. Oh my then gosh! Sit. I do. First off, you guys have been doing an amazing job. <laughs> no, 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 no jokes, <laughs> no jokes. Like right now, I find it even very difficult to critique anybody's movie now. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, to be honest, of course. To be honest. When you're sitting on that side of the yes, table. Yes, because and you know, I know that Inglot has done. Quite a number of 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. You know, 14. you so people, tested you are, <laughs> the feather food, you say you can fly. <laughs> you know, it's I was tired though. I was tired. I was like, you know, shit, you know, shit, I don't want to, but because um it, it was a film from my management. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they knew of my dreams. If COVID hadn't happened, I wanted to go to film school mm -hmm. abroad, just learn here and they acquire more knowledge. And they just like they just threw me to the deep end. Mm -hmm. Bam. So like, I like challenges. Mm -hmm. Um and thankfully we have the internet. I'm not working alone. I had to I got to call people that had already been in the business. How far? This is how we do how do we do it? So I was always I was always calling, but I must say you guys have done amazing mm. and you're still standing in this crazy business. Zulu still has hair. <laughs> we don't know. Like, like, his own. You yeah. like, <laughs> oh my god. Now this have a lot of hair before we started. <laughs> no, I was already balding when we started making movies. Did it accelerate it? Who knows? <laughs> but the great definitely from movies. <laughs> Will I produce again? Most definitely. Okay. Because um, I've so learned... So tell us your war story. One of the things, because when we were talking yes. about like, to enter the producer's club, truly, you have to have a war story. Yeah. A generator caught fire, air boys. Crazy. Fuck. Crazy. Where we were upset. filming, we were, we were... Okay, first of all, managing, managing actors is another annoying thing. And then these are my colleagues. I just love hearing this I'm from you. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I love you, but y'all be annoying. Because <laughs> I was also acting. And you know, it's so managing people's egos. Are you okay with it? And then I thought he jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do it. Do your works. <laughs> you know, so um, managing actors was really, really difficult. But mm -hmm. thankfully, there were some, many of them were my friends. So they didn't make it too it's bad. bad yeah. I, I tried to make them comfortable. So they didn't mm -hmm. really complain too much. Generator. <laughs> that generator thing. We had, we had, we moved. We had to move a second gen. The first one that we moved, set up, everything done, actors ready, they are in costume, we've read our lines, put it on. It's like, as soon as they press, roll camera. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? They bought new switch, clinical board, they bought new, did, 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 did. this gen did not work. We had to go and rent another one. Mm -hmm. Second day that this thing happened, we now, we now moved locations. Mm -hmm. When we moved to the second location, you will not be, <laughs> there you go. Where we positioned the gen, when the guys, yeah, the gen people came, they positioned it, they set it up, bah, bah, bah. We, sh they, we, we shot some things. Mm -hmm. But when we now moved to some other scenes for us to shoot, we couldn't work with it because the gen 
was there. And that was the location the director said. She said she's not moving. This is where she wants to shoot. Wow. Mm -hmm. The gem guys had gone. There was no truck to move, move the gem. The gem. I'm confused. It's not small gem, no. You, who was carrying it? Who carried it? Let me tell you how we carried this gem. <laughs> Whose car? We got car. Logs of wood. Okay. Logs of wood. You pushed it on it and then started to drag. And then we said, this thing took at least seven hours. Uh, don't you just beg your director to come and now? Why did she it, 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 was, it wasn't working because oh. the way the scene was, you had to see people come in from where they had positioned oh. it. So there was no other way. Yeah. How? No, so why are you saying that? But that has happened before where you something happens, you know the director is right, you know that it is going to take you time, you want to blame the director, but you two, you are looking at it, the director was, is right. And she was like, why did they put this here? <laughs> like, you all knew, like, you knew this was what we had, we, when we were doing the whole breakdown for the day, you knew this was how we were going to, why did you let them, ah, money, <laughs> we didn't know when they were going. So that oh, took another step, and then we know, we know we're not in that Set period. Moves. We had to start looking for, okay, what's that thing? Can we shoot? Okay, bring. Who is not around? She was not supposed to come today. What? No, the Bishola called. They called you. Having to. Ah! I was like, but PTSD, I, 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 was, I wasn't the it. only, I wasn't the only producer, producer okay. um, myself and Winifred. So and Winifred is like, she, she's like an angel. She's that calm voice that, while I'm like, who is it? I'm screaming. I'm like, no, because this. you cannot die. <laughs> so you gotta move. And I have a short fuse. I have, oh, have so your fuse. first one is your palpitation one. After yeah. after you don't die of the first, the first one, one yeah, palpitation yeah. Yeah. stop. They don't after stop. But I don't know like, how. You, yeah, I, I yes. No. I don't know. Get how you don't get you. So like when they came to arrest, so like when they came to arrest us on the department, I was. When they came to arrest him, that's what. Well, it was us. It was me and the crew for shooting in a place where they felt that it was a private estate. They decided that a Lagos state permit doesn't cover it, so they blocked the gate. They brought police. All of those things. I was I was like, and then so I called. My, I was like, because I knew we didn't want any one of the commissioners. Mm -hmm. So I called someone and I said, please, can I tell the commissioner and tell me they're about to arrest me? If there's anything he can do, I would appreciate hey, it. Good. So they called the owner of the estate. That one came down. Who is Chinaza? Hey. Tell the commissioner that nobody is disturbing you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, literally. They were literally, the police were there. They were waiting to carry us. I was like, what about you? I said, can we still shoot? I was like, yeah, no, let's not, hey, let's let's not, not try. try so, so, yes. so that's how Naz just lets us humble brag that, you know, yeah. he's just connected to just... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you know, but you see, <laughs> but, that's, but, but you see, that is what I mean about the privilege and the tragedy of this. Why, do, why is it that... Like, I did, how was I supposed to know that in Lagos State, yeah. you, you, your, your, yeah. your, permit your permit is not enough? Yeah. 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 In Lagos State, yeah. it is, the, I have collected the whatever mm -hmm. from the owner of the house, right? So it's not mm -hmm. that like, I'm in, on the, I'm in the road on front of the house, hey, on front yeah. of the house of the owner. <laughs> I, I did a degree in English, show. Yeah. <laughs> Take that in mind. <laughs> See the shelling part. plus degree in English, very unfortunate. Carry on, carry so on, basically, happens. yes, mm -hmm. so I'm within my rights. It's a road though. In a, on a street with a Lagos State permit, Lagos State that controls the road, and they're like, oh, this permit doesn't work here. I'm like, wow. So if Lagos State permit doesn't work in Lagos, where does it work? <laughs> I, I jam well. well, what of the one that we paid for? Okay, we had our own security. Mm. And then some area boys were now coming to do la 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 la. Okay, That's security. how our security now shot. Oh, big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to kill us? They yeah. now brought their own brother. Own brother too. Oh, As wow. they brought their own, we're now arguing. The like, eh, who asked you to be here? Who asked you to come and film here? Say no, we have the rights to film here. Oh, right. Like, oh, who? So are we even paid? Paid who? Paid, paid who? Who did you pay? Mm. Hello. Yes, they have we have an egg. <laughs> he did not answer his call again. Wow. What's now paid double? Oh no, that one is standard. Yeah. No, standard, no. So, so like, so the, so the, so the trick talk, is literally that you actually don't worry. Like, if you have, if you want to shoot in a place, you first of all set to the first person. No problem. That's what that lets you and enter. Group will come. Another group will come. Oh, you set to them. They will go. A third group. If just, just know just that you're just be settling. Just, just, just plan. Get ready so, yeah. for it. Just get ready. And for so it. you know, and here's the other thing. You cannot mm. actually settle them because technically that is problematic. So you are giving them mineral. Yeah. So, da, 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 da. Your food, so like you have to. to so down, because you can't really it. account for enter. facilitation. Just basically calm them yes. down. Yes. So as they are coming and going, coming and going. So now that you've done acting. You're done producing. Would you now also want to be like a director to now say, look, I'd want to shoot here and this generator is in the way? Ah, eventually. That's a long-term goal. Because you mentioned film school. Yes, that's a long-term goal. Um, 
<laughs> that's a long time. Oh, that's a strong way, dear. Oh. <laughs> that's I a long time ago. Stop being mm. we're, we're enjoying this. Sorry, so sorry, sorry. But that's a long time ago. I would, I would definitely love to direct, but I don't think I'm there yet. Yeah, that's um, not a thing. If you want to direct, direct. There's no, there's no. Yes, literally, I'm telling you. No, but you see, for me, I want to have a bit of knowledge. Direct, no, direct. Just direct. Just do direct. a short film. Do a whatever. It. If it's about that, no, just direct. just, just try that. it. Eh? What's case minutes. It's going, to, it's going to be bad. But it may not be. You, but you at least learn from it, and then you just kind see. of like this producing mm, one. I yeah. just so yeah. so so the one thing that directors, at least in their broad always say that your actual real film school is the first thing you do, like the first real thing that matters as opposed to your fancy thing. Mm. A good example is Project Greenlight, the show mm. that Damala used to make us watch. Don't watch it; it's not that good. <laughs> it's a nice show to watch. Please. So literally, they take all these guys, right? They they they, they, they pick them. Oh yeah, a visionary this, a visionary that, and we follow them making their movie. And then they put the movie on HBO and you watch the movie and like, wow. It's nonsense. Most, none of those movies have been good. No. So, up or not, the person has normally gone to film school. Up or not, you have Matt mm. Damon and uh, what's his yeah, name? Ben Affleck. ben Affleck there. Up or not, producer, they food, you five with million budget, yeah, whatever, everything. Budget. The thing is still don't not give good. Your, nobody like, just, just, try. just, 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 just be making so the film. If, if that okay. was holding you back, no. But just, then, if it's something now, else, maybe. But what if you now make this movie? The movie now becomes like a banger, it becomes like a huge hit. Just wait till. Then we. Submit it for Oscars. Hey, then you now okay. buy mistake or buy some other whatever shall win Oscar for best foreign okay. film. And the winner, let's do this. And then and the winner is for best foreign, foreign film, film in as a director. In director the, the, directing in Yeah, the director gets the foreign film on the behalf yeah. of the country. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. And <laughs> for the best winner is, is, oh, my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um Biso Bisola. Ayola. Ayola, then camera cuts to you. What is your speech going to be? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I guess she said she doesn't do well under pressure. And I guess we had evidence right there. <laughs> my brain is, I, I have a very imaginative mind, so I literally don't care. <laughs> <there. laughs> I love it. You are right there. So just tell us, what, what is this speech? I never expected it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Don't say you choke, Sha. I know. Um, thank you. <laughs> that, I mean, that's the all you have to say, right? Yeah. Oh, thank my goodness. So oh, my God. God. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like the craziest yeah. that we've ever done. I really hope you're talking love about your singing. Oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. So are you going yes. back to sing it? Will you consider I'm a new Definitely. Yeah. But yeah. it's too expensive. You did a movie mm. that was a singing thing that never came out, yes, right? Yes, it never came out. Because you couldn't clear the rights? It. Yes, yeah. for, some, for some of the songs. Oh, for real? So, yeah, because mm. we did some covers, international covers. Hey. Oh. So bold. <laughs> like, I know, right? <laughs> and, you know, well, you live and you learn. Yes, we do. Mm. All but right. for the music, it's just, it's really been expensive. Even though I have, like, a mm. music label and all, but mm. ah, it's too expensive. Way more than Way, film? No, but what part of it is expensive? Way more than film. I think it's mm. more than film. For your um, three minute videos? Aside videos, promoting. Oh, promote. so oh, right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So doing right. your thing yes. to blow, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. a lot of money. It's okay. a lot of money. Mm. I was going through my accounts some years ago, well, maybe two years ago with my, my, my team. I'm like, eh? This is what we spent. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I've not seen it in my life. And then mm -hmm. you were laughing like, no, so like you can't say that. You never know this how when you eventually hit, yeah. mm -hmm. you, you, you won't remember these days. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. this is so, waiting for me. But do you know how you circumvent that? Make a musical. Like literally figure out how to make a, a Nollywood musical. Don't, don't do like a foreign figure out how covers. To make a just you know, look at yeah, 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 a Nollywood musical. That's, that's literally yeah. that's literally what we'll do it. Yeah. Because yeah. look at um, how people and we need Nollywood musicals. We, we don't have, have we don't have that. Uh, we have now. now. Which one? It's still Carnywood now. Uh -uh. Oh, oh no, 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 yes, because no Carnywood is very Hindi in the Bollywood. In the Bollywood type, whatever. I'm saying that what the standard person sees at the cinema most times, we technically don't have that. So. So I'm looking to, to, to you. Okay, okay, fine. Have you guys done a musical? Funnily enough, have no, we've done a musical. Funnily, actually, we do. We just never did it. We've, we've considered <laughs> it. And then the problem is that uh, you also need someone that can sing. Okay, so do you I'm know what? So do you know what? So okay, do you fine. Want us to 2020. What year is this one? 2023. We'll do a musical together. Do you want us to collaborate together? Mad. Mad. Can I have let us sing at the same time together. <laughs> All right, I, but it's 
Yes. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. No, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry. No, no, um, sorry, I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to say, Nigerians, will they accept that? Yeah, we'll well, give it to did them. you know what sound of music? Create your realities. We'll give yeah, it to them. Yeah, man, that's the thing. Like, you believe it and you make it. And if you don't watch it, the film has been made. Has been Nobody made. can kill you. I mean, we've made wedding party too. So people wish it hadn't been made. The film is there. It's on it's Netflix. Why watch it? Well, yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. We appreciate you. <laughs> and always. All right. Hey, that's our show, guys. Oh, man. Thank so you so much. The amazing Bissola. Oh, yeah, okay. You, you no, wait, it. she didn't do our intro. She yeah. should do our outro. Do it. So, yeah, let, let it be sweet. No, but she needs to also plug her. And she, she has a few million yeah. followers. Who doesn't know her? No, okay, please, okay, please plug her, yourself. Though. Plug yourself. Sorry, don't be annoyed. Mr. Tell your fans that they should be following Damola at Damola5 on Twitter. Okay, Damola, thank you. We know where we can find you. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, it's been an interesting episode on today's podcast. Yes, uh, yeah. Meet, Meet and Greet. Meet and greet. Yeah. greet with yes. Nas, Zulu, and Damola. And Thank you. Guests. My name is Bisola Ayola. <laughs> I had such a fabulous time. I cannot wait to be back. I hope you've listened to previous episodes. Yes. And if you haven't, just click the link and enjoy. Oh, awesome. yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, All right, that's our show, everyone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>